Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles and I have found a very interesting stand here in Daytona Beach. I always like to kind of show the things that are a little different. We show a lot of animals. This is a different kind of animal and we're here with Ben Greshaw from Ben Greshaw's Herp Artworks. Hopefully I got the name pronounced right. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you got here because this is just, this is cool. Oh, thank you. Well, these are all animals that I've carved and uh, some of them are castings like these guys are castings. This is a carving, actually it's a laminated carving and they're carvings of animals many of which i've kept all of which i've spent a lot of time studying i've been in the reptiles since i was probably five so you know it was a nice wedding of of my interest in reptiles and my desire to do yeah, artwork so it's bringing two passions together into one yeah. and they look they look so lifelike like i walked by and of course this boa on the limb just catches your eye and you're just like whoa what am i seeing and i started looking i mean guys you start looking like i've had these i've had this uh you know another chondro i've had boas i've got gila monsters i've got western diamondbacks and that pose on that western like that's that classic western pose so it's just so neat uh i can tell you i'm gonna take home the small toke gecko so i can stick on the wall in my reptile room and i know people will see that and think something's loose which i think is gonna be really fun yeah. so it's just a it's just crazy how lifelike these are. So what was the first one of these you made? Like when you said, I'm going to do reptile art, what was the first thing you did? Ever. It was probably a turtle because that's my big passion. Okay. And in 1974, I carved a snapping turtle about that size out of oak. Oh, oak's a hard wood. Yeah. I, I carried it with me all summer long and we'd, we'd go to a picnic and I'd just sit in the chair and carve it and cut myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you really bled for the hobby, so to speak. Oh, man, yeah, yeah. Probably more yes. than once. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And when you go to carve something, like you said, it carried, you carried around all summer. How long does it take to make that initial piece of art? That first one probably was about 240 hours of time, as opposed to this one, which is out of mahogany, which I did probably in about 10 or 12. But as my wife points out, someone will look at something and say, well, how long did this take? And I'll say, oh... 110 hours and she'll say plus 47 years because I started doing this right out of college so right and it's not just the fact that you can do it now in 10 hours it's how much time you had to learn to get the skill yes. it's like anything you know it's a, it's a craftsmanship thing so it's really really awesome uh and we are at a live reptile show you will get a little bit of stuff people <laughs> the photo bomb here so what is your personal favorite carving you have here of everything out of all of them your personal uh, favorite ooh. Well, I would go with that box turtle. I actually this one here? have, yes, I have the model for that at home, the live one. He looks just like that. So this was carved based on your own personal animal. Yes, yes. And uh, my son caught wow. that, that specific animal when he was 10. He's now 39, and it was that size when he caught it. And you still have it. I do. That's awesome. We had it in Virginia and then brought it with us to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That is great. And then two, what's the largest one you've made? Because this is a large eye. Now, I'm six foot two, and I'm pretty sure this has got longer than my wingspan. Yeah. Well, there's a 21-foot anaconda that I did for the National Zoo for the Smithsonian. Oh, awesome. But uh, in terms of bulk, I did a full-grown adult Galapagos tortoises, <laughs> which was 41 yeah. inches tall. And like Big. my wife and I had to turn it like a rotisserie chicken to get into the woman's house. Her door was like 36 inches. And... Uh, so we had to fish had to that kind of the yeah, it like, in, right? Here we go. <laughs> like birth. <laughs> All right. I know you're going to be busy. I'm losing your money. So I don't want to take too long, but I want to ask you one more thing. So that was your largest. And we know which one, I mean, this one too. But you also mentioned that went for the Smithsonian and you had one for a woman's house in the Galapagos. Yes. So you do custom orders. Yes. So if somebody were to contact you, we'll put your Facebook in there. And they have an animal that they love or their favorite animal. And they can send you pictures and details about it. You'd be able to possibly recreate that. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. All right, man, I appreciate it so much. Thank hey, you, you so much for taking the time to talk to us. All Guys, right. go to Facebook, check it out, because I've been to a lot of shows. This is the only time I've ever seen since I come to Daytona. It is amazing artwork. If you love reptiles, it's something you just have to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.